Okay, so Murphy's Law is in full effect. Whatever can go wrong will go wrong. So I noticed earlier when I tried turning the water off on the house that I, you know, no matter how much I spun, it didn't seem to really ever turn completely off. Well, now I have the opposite problem. I can spin this all day long and it is not turning on my water. I confirmed that the water works at my well over there. So if I go over there to my well, it turns on just fine at the well. So the well's not the problem. This stupid faucet is. So what do I gotta do? Uh, I'm gonna have to take this nut off, see if it's just a matter of it spinning on this axis, in which case I can use pliers to turn it. But I'll probably have to work replacing this mess tomorrow, which is just a lot of fun uh, that I wasn't hoping to do because I don't know if you can see it, but it's going to be a challenge. Oh, I got a chrysalis there. That's kind of cool. Um, but it's going to be a challenge to take this off of these two pipes between this pipe and that. So I'm not sure how I'll do that exactly without breaking this. Um, so hopefully I can fix this nut, or this uh, faucet, because that is my problem right now. It just spins and spins and spins. I cannot turn the house water back on. So what a nightmare. So I got a shark bite fitting here and using my plier, my needle nose, I was able to lift it out and pull the pipe down a bit. I'm gonna have to cut it. I have to cut it so that I can then remove this thing, unscrew it. Another run to Home Depot, buy a new faucet that I can screw back on there and put it back together. I'm gonna get my um, PVC cutter and cut that right off. Fun. All right, so I've cut it. Next, I'm gonna use my channel locks to take that off and then I should be able to unscrew this. And then it's off to Home Depot to buy a new one of these and a new one of those. And uh, I'll cut a piece of CPVC to put back in the shark bite. I'll have to pull that shark bite off next um, so that it's ready for the new pipe. Okay, so that's been unscrewed. Now I gotta unscrew the pipe itself. I'm gonna have to hold this pipe while I unscrew this. Um, it's gonna be fun because when it gets to the handle, I'm gonna have to be pulling back enough to work to clear the house since I can't take the handle off. But what can I do? So to get the CPVC out, what I'm doing is I'm using these, using these vice grips to push up on the releaser and then kind of rotate it out. And I'll have to keep doing that until it comes out the rest of the way. So up, clamp, and then pull. I'm almost out. I'm trying to save that chrysalis too. I'm not looking to kill an animal. It doesn't want to let go. I gotta say, these shark bites, they definitely don't let go easy. So you should be able to just push this in and then the pipe should pull out. But getting that held in while trying to pull that out at the same time is very challenging. Meanwhile, this little chrysalis is just hanging out for dear life no matter how much I move this thing. So hopefully it survives. Ah, I'm gonna keep fighting with it. Okay, so I'm back from Home Depot. What have I bought? Um, I bought this. So this is gonna screw on here. I'll add some CPVC between the two shark bites and hopefully I'll be good to go for a new shutoff valve. Um, I gotta wrap some plumber's tape around that. I got this nice, this stuff is awesome. It's a little thicker than normal um, everyday Teflon tape and uh, works really well. So I'm going to put that around the threads here. So the next thing I bought is a tool to properly take off that damn thing because it's never coming off otherwise. So uh, hopefully with the tool it comes off because I need to get a PVC PVC pipe into that. What amazing difference it makes with the right tool pushing in on the thing. I was able to pull this stupid thing out. 
So, next step, and the chrysalis is still hanging on for dear life. All right, so I had bought a replacement valve, or a replacement shark bite elbow, just in case I had to ruin that thing to get it off. I don't think I need to. So next step is thread this, cut a piece of CPVC, and then put it back all together, hopefully. It's gonna be hard, because I gotta get it in there it won't have a lot of wiggle room. I can't make the CPVC the full length. It's just going to have to be just a little bit. But uh, let me go get the CPVC pipe. I'll do the threading. I'll put the faucet on, and then we'll go from there. So I'm starting to put this on, and boy, it's going to be hard. I had to take the handle off in order to be able to spin it on. Because um, otherwise the handle keeps hitting the elbow. But... Uh, I'm not gonna have a lot of room for CPVC there, so this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna have to try to crank this on here as much as I can. You can see I put the um, Teflon tape on there. It's on the crooked right now. I gotta straighten it and then uh, hopefully get it down real deep in those threads. Cause that's the only way I'm gonna get some CPVC between those two shark bites. All right, that's about as much as I can get it on there. It's not leaving me a lot of room between the two. What I might have to do is try to get the shark bite off of the, t the wall, pull it off, put the PVC between, and then push it back on. But boy, getting that off there, it's gonna be fun because I can see there's some cement built up on it, paint, etc. And Mr. Chrysalis still hanging on for dear life. So I will uh, try that, I guess. That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna chip away the cement and crap on it and see if I can pull it off the wall and then put some PVC between there, and push it back on. Nothing's easy. Okay, using the right tool, I was able to get it off. I had to chisel around my stucco a little bit here in order to get this tool on. And you'll be amazed to see Mr. Chrysalis still hanging on tight, very resilient. So I plan to put that sucker right back on after I connect some CPVC between it and the other shark bite. And I can just pull the whole thing back, push it on. So that's what I'm gonna work on next. All right, I put a CPVC between it, pushed it back on. The chrysalis is still intact. All I got left is to add the handle back and I'll be back in business. All right, my handle's on, off, on. I think I'm golden. I got my Teflon tape on there. Got my shark bites on there good and tight. Got my handle on there. I'm gonna go turn the water on at the well and see if I got some water up here. All right, you probably heard my fountain over here struggling before because it had no water in it. And now it's filling, which means that the water is indeed flowing to the house. So, off, on. Much easier than a knob anyway. Something I actually intended to do, but I didn't want to do it after doing a, another job all day. Um, but uh, here's what it is. Okay, so I went ahead and used a little bit of patch cement, this stuff here, to just kind of refill around the hole where I had broken away the pipe. I managed not to kill the chrysalis. Chrysalis is still hanging on for dear life. He's doing good. Um, so hopefully, I don't know if that's a moth or what it is, but he'll probably hatch out of there and be just fine. And uh, my pipe is in good shape. I now have an easy way to turn the, hot, the, the water on for the house on or off quickly, easily, safely, without dealing with a um, faucet that just spins and spins and spins. Uh, so that should be good. So that's it for this project. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. If you liked it, please do like the video and subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. I do a lot of different do-yourself type jobs, um, all different types, not all plumbing. Um, and uh, check them out, see what there is to offer. If there's something in particular that you're looking for, I can try to answer. Um, and uh, you know, if and when I need to do it, I will make a video for you. Uh, ask questions if you have questions. I'll leave the comments open for a while. Um, and then I'll close them out eventually when this 
uh, content gets uh, stale or is just, you know, I've moved on to other projects. But uh, please do like, subscribe, and um, leave comments. Have a great one, and till next project.